Today I thought I would do a video on figuring out where to buy a K40 laser cutter from as well as which model to purchase. So if you're in the market for a K40 laser cutter, you kind of have two options. You either have Amazon or eBay. I would suggest eBay over Amazon just because the buyer protection is better if you use PayPal. So if you have a failure of a part in your laser, like the power supply, you'll be able to be compensated or get a replacement part if something were to go wrong within 180 days of your purchase. And that's really important when you're buying a laser that isn't backed by an actual manufacturer. So that's just something I would suggest. So this video is going to be based on buying a laser cutter off of eBay. So let's go to eBay right now and we'll look up some K40 models. So when searching for a K40, you're going to want to type 40W laser. Generally, K40s don't go by K40 anywhere but on forums and blogs and stuff on eBay. Most sellers list them as 40W lasers for 40 watt laser. Okay, so we're gonna go over the different models here, the most common ones, because this is kind of the confusing part. You're gonna see some that have different control panels and it's a little confusing at first if you have no idea what you're looking for. So we'll look at this one first. I think this is the most common K40 model that I see nowadays. We'll take a look at the front panel. As you can see, we've got digital power controls. We've got an emergency stop button. And you can see there's also internal LED lighting, which is nice to see. These also come with a few accessories, water pump, exhaust fan, although I would pitch the exhaust fan because they're really crappy. Um, you don't want to use one of those. It's very sketchy electronics in there. Your USB key with some software on there. Again, I wouldn't use that. For these lasers, I would suggest using K40 Whisper, which is an open source control software made for the K40. It's really easy to use and it's a great alternative to the stuff that's included. And that's probably the one thing you'll want to check with these laser cutters to make sure they're compatible. So what you want to do is just search the eBay listing for laser DRW or laser draw. So we'll look up laser draw and as you can see, it's compatible with laser draw, which basically means the board on the inside of the laser will work with laser draw. And if that's the case, it'll also work with K40 Whisper. So this is another common K40 that I see all the time. And I was kind of confused which model to get when I was looking at them. So this is like the classic K40. This is the analog version. We can tell that by the panel on the front. We have an analog power control. We have a milliamp meter on the front as well. Our power switch, laser test switch, and our laser power switch. These models generally lack the features that you'll see in other K40 models on eBay, but they'll make up for it in a cheaper price. So this one's $30 cheaper than the other one we just looked at. Comes with the same accessories. It just won't have internal LED lighting or an emergency stop button or any of that extra stuff. So there's really nothing wrong with buying one of these lasers over the digital power controlled K40s. Now we'll go over one more model. Um, all these K40s may vary in color. That doesn't affect anything, obviously. This one has a slightly different case. All of these extra features, it's very similar to the first one that we looked at. So this one actually has a temperature display. It has the emergency stop button. It has the power switch, laser controls. So very similar to the first model. It just has a couple of extra features. The temperature gauge is actually really nice to have. Um, I have one of those but it's not built into my laser. So this wouldn't be a bad one either. It is the most expensive out of all of them, but it's $60 more than the one we looked at if all those features are worth it. So this one wouldn't be a bad option either. The seller does have a decent amount of sales. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to verify that the seller is legit, that they're selling good copies of the K40, that they're not selling a bunch of duds that are DOA. So what I like to do first is look and see if they have any product ratings up here. So take note of the seller's names while free shipping. We'll click on the product ratings and we're just going to look for ones that are sold by the seller we just saw. So while free shipping. And as you can see, we have one three star rating, but the rest of them are positive, which is good. And we also have some pictures. So it's good to read through those to gauge what kind of product you're getting. This is true with anything on eBay, but especially with these laser cutters, that way you can get you know hands-on reviews with the product that you're actually looking at that you're gonna receive. The next thing I like to do is go up and click the seller's name and go to their eBay profile. We're gonna see all feedback, and now we're gonna actually filter the feedback by searching it, and we're gonna type in 40W, get rid of all the other ratings. Now we can see every rating that has to do with this particular laser cutter. So you can see most of these are positive, which is a really good sign. There's a lot of positives and this is just in the past month. So I'd be comfortable buying from this seller just because there's a lot of positive ratings. There is one negative, but it has to do with alignment, which is something that you're going to have to do with any laser cutter you buy. So I would just disregard that. 
um, alignments. Just it's frustrating, but you got to learn how to do it, and it's not a big deal once you do it a few times. It's pretty easy, and it doesn't take very long. So that is what I do when I'm looking for a K40 laser. That's what helped me. If there's not a lot of ratings, if there's not a lot of reviews, if the price is super low, then it might be a scam. But most of these K40s, I'd be perfectly comfortable buying, and you really can't go wrong with either. All of them are basically equal. Um, just make sure that in the listing, they're compatible with laser draw or laser DRW so that you'll know they'll work with K40 Whisperer. But other than that, you really can't go wrong. Just make sure the seller is legit and you should be fine. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be making more K40 videos in the future. So if you want to see those, stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.